Bye. Hello, I am Hazel Carla. I'm from a side of high school of Padres in Greece. We're gonna try a new activity called Can I Come In? With our English teacher, Miss Georgina School. So, uh, yes, I will be uh, your instructor and your guide for this new activity. I hope that you all will at the end. I'm really um, excited about the fact that you uh, are going to be aware of really serious global matters and maybe to start seeing things from a different perspective. So, uh, this is an activity that tackles the theme of immigration and the refugee crisis that uh, has uh, swept across Europe and Greece in particular. New stories of uh, immigrants and refugees arriving in Greece are broadcast uh, on a regular basis uh, and the country is struggling to deal with this situation in these serious circumstances. Teenagers uh, in our country um, are often uh, indifferent towards current affairs and show a really uh, great lack of motivation concerning several uh, political and social issues. Hello, my name is Tenis Plezos and I'm a student of the Arsakia Tostea School of Patras. I would like to tell you some things about the, this activity that was called Can I Come In? This activity is a role play about a group of refugees uh, fleeing their homeland who wish to enter another country. We used our knowledge about the matter uh, and the role cards given to us to be able to act our roles out. The brief storm that we would already knew about refugees, uh, what we heard in the news, read the newspapers on the internet, and at the beginning there were some misconceptions, uh, but we managed to handle them and act normal. Um, there are um, people who are we try to help them with equipment from their houses or to make them feel welcome. But there, are, there is a great number of people who think, for example, that uh, refugees are stealing their jobs <laughs> and their opportunities uh, and their money. So this is, I think, the reason uh, that they do not accept them in our country. Uh, we decided to keep it simple, so we used desks and chairs to see the crossing border. Uh, we were divided in three groups. One group were the refugees, the second group were the border officials, and the third group were the observers and the journalists. We are divided into two groups. We put the first group of the border officials, the second group of the refugees, and the third group of the journalists and observers. Now we need to work out at all. We need your aid. I'm 16 years old. I come from Syria. I'm serious. Do you have any family members living here? No. Are, are you coming with and are you on your own? Yes, I am on my own. Going in our country, we have to go and further investigate. So you have you don't you you are not allowed to enter our, our country yet. Uh, but I have uh, nowhere to go and I have no money for me. We are sorry, but you will have to stay a little bit longer so we can investigate. Okay, so I need a shelter to you. As long as I'm staying here, I need a shelter and food. Where can I find that? Because of a terrorist attack, we are checking no men before the end of the country. After the check, am I okay to... Yes, to but you will here? have to stay here uh, some days. The refugees uh, want to cross the country. They are hungry, tired, cold and have travelled a long way from their home countries. Only a few have identification documents or passports. Uh, the border officials from Greece uh, have different points of view about the situation. The refugees are desperate and use arguments to try and persuade the border officials to let them in. Uh, then the observers give feedback on the roadway. Uh, what they have witnessed, how they felt, and how they would uh, narrate the events. felt really uncomfortable and uh, it was a really stressful situation because right here uh, in life we saw the refugees uh, and we had to wait to see which ones were allowed to pass, so it was, so it was a really stressful situation. First of all, I barely recognize a lot of feelings through the eyes, 
they were sad because uh, they, left, they left their houses and their stuff back at their countries and their homes. They were wet from the trip with the boat because they traveled a lot of uh, miles with uh, border officials. Um, they were trying to seek for a better future and uh, that's the reason that uh, they are leaving their country. They were worried about uh, if we're gonna let them pass the country with or without their families. As a follow-up, we made uh, the use of Channel 4 interactive video, 2 billion miles, which again made us uh, see things from the inside and watch the outcome or this uh, decision come to life. How do you personally evaluate your ability to work uh, as a member of the group? Uh, I try to be cooperative, I express my ideas and thoughts without trying to minimalize someone else or try mm -hmm. uh, to cover up something else. And I try my best to be an active member of the group and I have fun. Okay, thank you very much for your... Um, as uh, your uh, guide and your instructor, uh, I have to say that uh, my impression of you is that you all cooperated really, really successfully and uh, one thing that was achieved, one of the many that was achieved uh, right after uh, this activity and during this activity was the fact that you just happened out of the blue, you didn't know anything yeah, we uh, before. before, exactly, so that means that you acted more, um, uh, you really were in somebody else's shoes. Uh, so you, you found yourself into a different situation and uh, I think the most important lesson uh, to be learned is always to start thinking uh, if I was in somebody else's shoes. Uh, so this, this is the, the really crucial point uh, for the change. Uh, so thank you so much for your collaboration and uh, we hope that you enjoyed the video as well.